Hey, it's the Empire, Geo Boxing Empire, Boxer Boxing. Now, man, wild stuff, man. Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury, is going to be fighting Dillian the Vice, not your white, right? Uh, this was a WBC mandatory spot position for Dillian White. He's been trying to get the position since, well, Deontay Wilder when he was 10 tile defenses in his reign before Tyson Fury dethroned him, right? They were talking about how uh, Dillian White was, you know, a billion days down the road to being the mandatory and how he's mandatory for so long and how he needs a shot. Now he's finally getting a shot against Tyson Fury. And oddly enough, man, Tyson Fury has found a new sparring partner, an infamous sparring partner, a sparring partner who hasn't fought in since Jared Washington, man. It's been a very long time, but it's no other than Big Baby Miller. And Big Bay Miller, man, it's wild stuff because he apparently, you know, he's had a ban on him. I didn't know his ban was still ongoing, but apparently he can actually get back in the ring uh, this June. So that being said, um, Tyson Fury with uh, Big Bay Miller, uh, this is gonna, this is that's a really big, that's a really big thing because it shows that Big Bay Miller has been training. You know, he's been training, he's staying in shape, and he's finding the best of the best. A lot of people talk about how. Tyson Fury's uh, the best of all time in Britain over there. Uh, they had a poll not too long ago talking about who's the best ever. Anthony Joshua, Lynx Lewis, or Tyson Fury. And uh, the overwhelming support has was Tyson Fury. So a lot of people think that Tyson Fury uh, could possibly be the greatest of all time over there in Britain um, by dethroning Deontay Wilder. Um, they think that it's basically a fate accompli, him beating Alexander Usyk and becoming the undisputed champion. So all that being said, man, you know, the thing is, um, Big Bay Miller, he's training again. He's going to be back in the ring. And there's been a lot of beef between Big Bay Miller and Dillian White. So having uh, basically like an arch enemy of Big Bay, of Dillian White and Big Bay Miller is a big deal. You know, uh, in Big Bay Miller's prime, he was like a Dillian White 2.0. He had a really solid chin. He was really aggressive. 300 pounds, he never got tired, and he was extremely dangerous. Now, a lot of people say, okay, well, that was Big Bay Miller on steroids, but understand that Dillian White popped dirty for Peds in kickboxing. Not only that, he popped dirty in boxing as two, his A sample was dirty, and that being said, you know, uh, he popped dirty more than once in boxing. Uh, so, or at least, at least at one time, um, and that was a big deal. So that being said, man, Tyson Fury and uh, Dillian White, there's a lot of mind games going on, and this is set to happen in the UK. It's going to be a one, big one, right? The arena already sold out. Frank Warren's hosting the show, and this is just going to be a big fight, man. So I'm really excited to see it. We're going to see who wins this fight. Yeah, I think a lot of people are sleeping on Dillian White. I think Dillian White is the elite-level fighter. Uh, he has an extremely deep resume. I think his resume is uh, comparable to to the champions because he beat a lot of former world champions, right? He beat WBA regular champion uh, Lucas Brown. He beat former WBO undefeated champion Joseph Parker. You know, um, you know, Dillian White resume is extremely deep for a contender. It's actually shocking how deep it is, uh, to tell you the truth, because it's a short list to who he'll fight after it's done. Um, Dillian White, if he beats Tyson Fury, I mean, from here on out, it's former champions and, and unified champions, you know, because who basically only person he can really fight that's competitive, in my opinion, is like a, you know, a Deontay Wilder, maybe a Frank Sanchez and Anthony and, you know, a rematch with Anthony Joshua. And I guess Alexander Usyk, that's a short list. It's four fighters, you know. So I think Dillian White's elite. He proved it against uh, Alexander Povetkin, you know, took his, you know, he got stopped the first time, but both those times he was dominating the fight. Let's keep it let's keep it honest. He was dominating that fight, you know. So we're gonna see how this whole thing plays out with Tyson Fury and um, Big Bay Miller. But you know, I'm glad to see Miller back in back in camp. I'm glad to see he's going hard, and you know, this is only good things because Big Bay Miller understand that there's <laughs> there's another guy called Jared Anderson, and Jared Anderson, his name is Jared Big Baby Anderson. So, you know, since the time Big Bay Miller was gone, there's been a new prospect with a lot of wins who's basically took over his name and is a, basically like a, a clone type fighter of Big Bay Miller. 
now the styles are different obviously but the name itself the big baby part is just wild stuff man wild stuff so we're gonna see how this whole thing plays out with um with big bang miller coming back um i hope that this is year you know understand that his band's lifted in june but maybe he might come back in you know a month after maybe like an august or something so we'll, we'll see how the whole thing plays out um but i would love to see him again you know i hope he comes back to the pbc man that that's that's really that, that really give him some noise you know um he now he lost out him in a lot of money in the anthony joshua fight uh but you know andy reese is birth because of it you know Jerome Miller was supposed to fight Anthony Joshua T Pop Dirty. Andy Reid's got his opportunity and he stopped Anthony Joshua. So, you know, I guess it's pros and cons. But, you know, we're gonna see how this whole thing plays out with Big Bay Miller. But he's one of the definitely hot contenders in the sport of boxing. I still do think he's a contender. You know, will he come to, for a soft touch? I definitely think he needs to come with at least a year of soft touches just to get his feet wet again. It's been so long, it's insane. You know, so I do think he's a top tier fighter. He fought someone like a, if he, he, if he rematched like a Jared Washington, I don't see him losing that fight again. I still think he is an athlete. Um, understand that at one point in his career, at the highest career, uh, he was trying out for NFL teams. That's how elite he was. So Big Bear Miller, man, I think he's a big dog. And, you know, sporting boxing needs him. You know, he, he's one of those fighters that have a great personality, uh, outspoken. You know, a lot of people don't like that, but that's, that's what sells tickets, man. That's what sells tickets. So anyway, man, you know, the saga continues between Tyson Fury and Dillian White, man. Big Ben Miller's in the picture again. Coming fighting soon. Big deal, big deal. Let me know you guys feel about though. Like, comment, subscribe. It's the Empire. Geobasking Empire. Peace.